Portugal coming up in the set, late semi-final. Canada, one of the outstanding teams in the terms of the performance this weekend. Sean Duke, keep an eye out for him, wearing the number six jersey. John Moonlight has given real leadership to this team. And of course with that HSBC World 7 Series points on offer, the matchup for these two teams is excellent. Portugal have had a great tournament so far. Rato Moreira, well he scored four tries in his opening game. And uh, referee for this time is Kevin White from Scotland. So the place is absolutely buzzing, Ben Gollins. It is the atmosphere. The, the, the ground is almost full now as we get to the, the business end of the weekend. And you know we've just seen a cracking performance. Well, last two performances, one from Hong Kong, one from England. And it's great to see these two teams here. Portugal, unlucky not to be in a semi-final at the death of their quarter-final. Both teams playing for points and playing in a big, bigger end of the competition they usually find themselves in. So kicking off here for Canada is Nathan Hirayama. Well taken there by Frederico Oliveira. He goes to deck. Now Pedro Leal, he's been the, well quite outstanding for Portugal this weekend. Switch play back in du Duarte Moreira. And relief, Moreira, as I said, four tries in the opening game against Scotland to deny the Scots by 21 points to 19. Leal makes the first break. Taylor Paris is playing sweet, but tremendous defensive effort there from Canada with the number four jersey on John Moonlight. Turnover possession. Paris then through the hands. Harry Jones has got the ball back onto the 22. Splintered defence here from Portugal. Can it be exploited? Nanyak Dalla takes it into the contact. That's the support from Moonlight once again. The pace of this game in this opening minute. It's absolutely relentless. Well, it's non-stop here. And both teams giving each other an absolute hammering at the breakdown and in the tackle. And not finding much room at the moment. Well, Moreira got the better of the kick and chip. Oh! That was from Taylor Paris. Up to the 10 yard line of the Canadians. But they turned the ball over as Moreira took the ball into the contact. They held them up. I think from Canadian point of view, if you're going to it's kick there, ball. you really want to kick it as deep as you can. Don't give the opposition half a chance. But they've done well to hold up hold up Portugal there and, and force a turnover. So Canada, well, they ended up in this uh, particular match because they had lost to Wales in the cup quarter final by 28 points to 14. Portugal, Touch. heartbreak for them, 12 all. Touch. Portugal against Kenya and then Kenya got awarded a penalty and dropped a goal with the last kick of the, the match to deny them a place in the semi-final but playing superbly well here in Hong Kong Dalla has a good step gets the support play no he's missed it the fine player and again what a difference John Moonlight makes to this team adds a lot of physicality back to Paris Paris who Flies his trade with the Glasgow Warriors in the Rabo Pro Direct League. Plenty of space on the outside. Great step and go. Can we get some? Can Canada get support out wide here? Is Sean Duke Duke goes for the corner. Duke for the corner and scores for Canada. Well, I'm seeing the confidence of the Canadians now really coming through. I mean, it's always going to be a close encounter having watched their quarterfinals, but patient with ball in hand. Looking at the width, it could potentially have gone earlier, but he's seen the space, he stepped. And then it's great support out wide here from Hiriyama and then Sean Duke. And he's been lethal on the end for Canada all weekend, and that's great strength to score this one. You know, what a wonderful pass, Ben Gollins, there that was made, that made the try for Duke. Pinpoint accuracy from Hiriyama. No wonder they're congratulating each other. It is, because if it's not spot on, Scott, it can be the difference between him scoring that try and not. So the conversion was unsuccessful. And Sean Duke, well, what about that? You know, the uh, UBIC Vikings boy, 24-year-old, made his debut in Wellington 2009. And from Abbotsford in uh, British Columbia, with lots of experience. Hirayama with the kickoff. Well, he was challenged in the end. Ben, did you pick that up? No, I mean, I think he's saying that uh, one of the Portuguese blocked, blocked one of the Canadians, but I 
Taylor, Taylor Paris with the chart, the chip and chase, and he's got the second try. Fantastic by Taylor Paris. He is looking so he's razor sharp. He has spotted the gap there straight off the penalty, seeing the fact that I think Portugal are a little bit confused from, from what, what will happen at the kickoff, but you can't afford to be. You've got to get back to 10, worry about that later. Taylor Paris has seen it, no sweeper, and finished with cracking pace. Ben, I often talk about a sharpness of mind as well as a sharpness on the field of play, and it's so important. And we've seen a totally different England team in the previous tie, uh, tie but Canada have looked really sharp throughout this tournament and, and wholesome as a team. I mean, they have Scott, and it, the, the, as you as you just alluded to there, you know, if you've got the sharpness of mind and you can back it up with that pace, it's a lethal weapon to have as a player. And someone like here, Taylor Paris, has just shown it. He's seen the gap gone, but it's a matter of being able to see that. Some people can see it, and then they're just they're indecisive and they're not decisive with it. Here, be decisive and go. Coach Gary Drum will be so pleased with his uh, charges and the the start that they've made to this particular team and again Chauncey O'Toole this time O'Toole's made a real difference since he's come into this team right and on the far side is Harry Jones Jones can he escape the tackle he's still got possession Taylor Paris is in there bounces once bounces twice he's meter short Harry Jones throws the ball back now Canada if they can get it out wide they've got men over good pop pass here this is Moonlight Moonlight well tackled by Oliveira, Manya Dalla goes in to try and clear out bodies, but illegally, says referee Kevin White from Scotland. Okay. The Portuguese really hanging on there, but they're making their tackles and the you know, confidence booster for them. But key now, they've got the ball, they need to win this line out and take a bit more control in this game as they haven't really seen much of it just yet. Well, there's Gary and John there. And uh, those of you who are on uh, social media, then you can... Uh, comment on this particular performance and game and uh, give us your uh, your uh, favourites for the cup final at, uh, at IRB7s or also hashtag HK7s good throw here by Pedro Leal he does the loop around work now Moreira's on the uh, the wide side Guate Moreira supported there by De La Media is Miguel Lucas takes the ball in the contract but look how well Canada flooded that contact area but it comes back to decision making again there it was slow and therefore he's running down a blind alley he needed if he was coming he needed to come like a train there to win the contact area because Canada are strong in the tackle and they've just proven that with another turnover and here the Yama he had a one glance at the clock there's a scoreboard on the opposite stand here in uh, the Hong Kong Stadium there if you look at to the, uh, the top of your picture there and there's the view that uh, Hirayama has what a fantastic atmosphere you must have loved playing here Ben Gollins and it's, it, it's a special place Scott it's, it is an incredible atmosphere and especially now at this time of the day on Sunday everybody coming in here filling up the crowd Sean Duke on the outside Marrera has him candled her so does Pedro Betancourt wearing the number 9 jersey he goes in to challenge but Illegal from Harry Jones, he went down and sealed off the ball. The well, last chance here for Portugal now, I mean this will be key if they can score. It's right before half time. Oliveira makes the cut, can Oliveira go all the way? Yes he can, he's between the posts, the conversion to come. And how important and crucial will that score be? Well that's huge, I mean, they looked at, they looked at going into this first half time break with 12-0 down, but Canada napping in defence, which is not common. They've defended so well up until that point. But Oliveira taking the opportunity, and he can finish. He's got the pace to do that from the halfway line. Another way, look, Canada playing without the sweeper on that occasion, and once that first line defence was broken, Oliveira, such a great hard-working forward. This is uh, his 23rd, 23rd tournament. The 24-year-old. He's got 17 caps for Portugal. And he's given his team a real chance. Half time then, 12 points to 7 in Canada's favour.
you're kicking in this game from around the world. Just look at that fantastic scene here at the Government Stadium in Hong Kong, the Cathay Pacific HSBC Hong Kong Sevens. It is a sight to behold. It's a wonderful atmosphere, and alongside me is the record point scorer of the series and uh, Ben Collins, you'll admire the play of this young man, Pedro Leal. They call him Popcorn and a fellow scrum half and colleague of yours. He has over the years, he's gone from strength to strength and he's really a, a standout for, for Portugal. If he's not playing, they're a different team. Harry Jones has the opportunity on the far side. Jones hounded down there and bounces the tackle. All of Almeida. Switch play then, my Duke. Harry Yama. Moonlight. This is uh, Jones once again. This is Chauncey O'Toole, sorry. Toole took it into the contact. Estevez for Portugal. But I think it was uh, Chauncey O'Toole who uh, went into an offside position there. I'm oh, sorry, stealing well, off. I think he's, yeah, he's done him for going down over the ball. I mean, it's tough. But uh, Portugal will come up with it. Well, Pedro Leal just sporting a little uh, bruise to his, uh, his eye. Everything revolves around him. Made his debut in Dubai in 2004. Top point scorer as well. With 73 tries to his name. I'd like to see Portugal hold on to the ball a bit there. You know, they, they, they've just got it back. It's key that they control it and they've just given it straight back to the Canadians. You went in a position there. The kick wasn't really on. Just take it forward. You've got big guys who can carry the ball in the likes of Estevez out wide. Hit it up, and then you've got the options out wide for coming back the other way. So Duarte Moreira, he's uh, he got four in that uh, opening tie against Scotland with some very very trenchant running. Estevez off the bat then. Hidayama tried to tap tackle him. He missed. Estevez takes it up. He's created the try. Surely, great defence by Canada. Across goes Nanyak Dala. There's a blown opportunity there. Hands was on. I think the try would have been scored. Now it's turnover ball and Canada are going back up the other end of the field. Territory then is in the favour of the Canadians. They set the line. Pedro Real goes back. Good defensive line coming up here for Canada. They pressed up as a unit. Estevez took it on the angle. Well tackled by Moonlight. Bit scrappy at the back. And Oliveira just kicks for touch just to calm things down for the Portuguese. I think they'll be kicking themselves there. I think that was uh, an opportunity to level the score. Great work off the back of the line now. That's where you just got to spot the two on ones. Well, interesting. A couple of uh, changes here for Canada. Yeah, brought Kieran Hearn on and Tyler Ardron. And Taylor Paris pleads with Kieran Joe. Why did you take me off? He was full of running. The youngster who scored a try in the first half for Canada. So what sort of impact will the substitutes make? Here is Kieran Hearn, first look at him. Out to Sean Duke. Duke well marshalled on the far side by Moreira. Thank you. Well that big cheer is all about the side stand. There's no roof left on this stadium. The atmosphere is fantastic. On the switch play then, it's uh, Tyler Hard run. Good, good, place by, uh, good play by Connor Trainer there. He's uh, got the long hair. John Moonlight pulled to the net. Here Yama goes in. Superb play by Trainer. Trainer through the gap. And could that be the tie for Canada? Wonderful awareness by Connor Trainer. Well, it's difficult for Portugal there. Canada have done extremely well. They've kept the ball off the floor. And uh, there was plenty of numbers here. There was men, men, men to spare on this occasion, and unfortunately, Portugal running out of numbers. Well, additional two points is uh, is good. And confirmed there from Nathan Hiriyama. What two and seven? Just shows how quickly a game of sevens can change. Portugal could have looked at almost going into the lead just now, and now they're, now they're looking at another try. Well, it was good defensive effort. They maybe blew a little bit of a chance. And just a quick uh, call on the um, the quality of the subs that uh, Gary John's able to call upon. Absolutely. I mean, we're looking at this uh, Sarah Hearn. He's been very destructive all weekend for Canada, and it was interesting uh, not to see him in the starting lineup. But it's a good balance. You 
you bring off uh, Taylor Paris and you put on Hearn, who's, gonna, who's an impact player, he's so strong with the ball and he's going to give Canada a lot of go forward. Well he's 190 and 102 kgs, old money, it's at 6 foot 3 and 16 stone. I prefer that ring for myself. Touch. I mean, that's, a, that's a good weapon to have and he's fast and he's good on his feet yeah. as well. Yeah, very good, well drilled team this. He's come to Hong Kong well prepared. You see him there, massive impact straight in the defence, he's flown up and made the solid tackle. Ball pops back for uh, Estevez, and Derito Estevez now tries to take on the tackling man, which was Kieran Hearn. Bodies all over the place for Canada, so the quick tap and go here from Nuno Costa has to go wide. Portugal, if Oliveira goes wide. Well, there was an opportunity to spread the ball to the far side. There's still an opportunity in actual fact. And can Portugal exploit this? Good little step by Nuno Sousa Gudez. Bundled to the deck. Big hit coming in, but yeah, just Oliveira, there was plenty of time that you, you mentioned the open the, the option out wide, but also there was a couple of offloads right on his shoulder to keep the momentum going forward for Portugal. Well, an overcooked uh, chip, that means that Hiriyama has covered that 22. one, pops the ball down. 22 restart for the Canadians. I don't think they'll be in a rush to take this now, just play a bit of the time out of the clock. Well, in Wellington and Las Vegas, they won the bowl and plate titles, beating the likes of Fiji, South Africa and Kenya on the way. And the Hong Kong Sevens, they've always performed well. This is where they qualified as a, a core team, in actual fact, uh, getting through last year. And it's given the confidence to reset their platform under Gary and John. Five reds sealing off then. Explain that to the viewers. Well, I mean, it's something that the uh, the referees are really looking at, and it's, it's about the, uh, the attacking player going down on the ball and not supporting his body weight, and they really are hot on it, especially now in this tournament. And, of course, everything under the microscope in seven-a-side rugby. But maybe, uh, those of you watching, you can get away with it in 15 a -sides. You've got to be absolutely spot on with your skills here because they are extremely highlighted in this venue, in this cold room. Estevez gets ball back, Leal with a little pop pass, popcorn with the pop pass. Little dig by Miranda, Diego Miranda. Miranda again, ball in hand. This is the ball out wide to a oh, great step here by Goodes. Lovely individual skill to see an opportunity. Now, if Portugal can get back behind the halfway line, they have got an opportunity to restart this game. The conversion will come first. Leal then pops over the conversion. Game on then for Portugal. Canada 19, Portugal 14. With the restart to come, they have to get the possession back if they're going to win this game. It was a well-taken try, well-taken opportunity from Portugal, but this is the That's key the moment now. Can they win their kickoff back? Leal always makes sure there's plenty of height on the restart. Oh, he's maybe overcooked it. He's given possession into Canada. And watch as the ball is played away. Good, sensible thinking there by Kieran Harney. Looks up at the top.